SF 5.3 derivatives of polynomials. So we're going to talk about derivatives today. So it is possible to find the derivative of polynomials using the limits or the formulas. Okay. I mean to find the derivative of the function. So to find the derivative of the function. f prime x, okay, uh, we use limit theory to find the gradient of the of the tangent, okay, using the limit, okay. So, uh, to find the derivative function, we need to find the gradient of the tangent. So, like, you know, gradient of tangent is actually same as the uh, derivative of function. So, when we evaluate this limit, I mean, when you use the limit function, limit formula, which is the f prime x is equal to limit or h approaches to zero, uh, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. When you use this formula uh, to find the uh, derivative function, we say we are differentiating from the first principle. We are differentiating. from first principle, okay? So, example number one, let's try to dif di uh, differentiate this function using the, the first principle, okay? So, first principle means we are using this formula. So what this formula means, uh, instead of the x, we are substituting the x plus h or the x. That's what this question means or this formula means. Okay, so we're going to do first substitute h plus x into the function f of x. Then we get x plus h squared minus 4 times h plus x plus h. Uh, plus 2 minus and now we substitute x into the function f of x so we get x squared minus 4x plus 2 and it's over h okay then this is same as limit h approaches 0 x squared plus 2x h plus h squared minus 4x minus 4h plus 2 minus x squared plus 4x minus 2 over h. Okay. Then when you simplify this numerator, this is equals to a limit h approaches 0, 2xh plus h squared minus 4h over h, and this is same as a limit h approaches 0 2x minus 4 plus h and this is equals to 2x minus 4 as h approaches 0. That's how you find the uh, derivative of the function using the first principle. Okay, uh, But the interesting is you're never going to use the limit to find the uh, derivatives. Okay? You're always going to use differentiation formula, which is the, this one. Okay. Uh, this formula is actually in your formula booklet. Okay. And how this works is uh, whenever you get uh, a function, okay, uh, it can be described as taking each term so you're going to take each term of the function and multiply by the exponents and subtracting one from the exponents okay so for example if you are differentiating f of x equals to 4x7 to find the derivative of the function f of x you take exponent to the front so you multiply 7 and you subtract 1 from 
the exponent. Okay, then your answer for the derivative of the function f of x is same as uh, 28 times x to the power of 6. Okay, then let's try example 3. So in this case, we have four different terms, right? Uh, what you need to remember is you're multiplying the each term by the exponents, then subtracting one from the exponents. That's what you need to remember, okay? So let's just write it here. So you're going to take each term and multiply it by the exponent then subtract 1 from the exponent okay then let's do example 3 Example 3 is same thing. We need to find the derivative of the function y equals 3x cubed minus 12x squared plus 8x plus 1. The difference in this question is we actually have the plus 1, which is the constant. Okay, So when you have a constant, uh, the answer is the de derivative form of the constant is equals to 0. Okay, But let's talk about how it is 0. So if we have a 1, it, it's actually same as having x to the power of 0, right? Because x to the power of 0 is always 1. Doesn't matter how big is your base, if your power, if your power is 0, it is equals to 1. So when you, have, when you have 1 times x to the power of 0, this is same as having 1, right? So 1 times x to the power of 0, if we differentiate this, this is same as 1 times power 0 times x to the power of 0 minus 1, right? So the 0, the number 0 has multiplied into the term that makes everything equals 0, right? So uh, remember, when you have a constant, doesn't matter how big it is, big your constant is, it always becomes 0, okay? So we to find the derivative of the function y, okay? Let's differentiate this function. So y prime is equal to 3 times the power multiplies into the term and we subtract 1 from each power minus 12. We sub multiply the power into the, the term and x2 and we subtract negative 1 from the, the power. And same thing, 8, 1 is hidden here, right? So we multiply 1 to the term and we subtract 1 from each power. And the constant becomes 0. Then we have the final answer of 9x squared minus 24x plus 8.